So fast, not so fast, take your time. Okay. Now don't don't throw your head and push. Keep it close. Leave your head high. Leave your head where it's at now and curl, 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 curl. Today, we're gonna to dive into the top three mistakes that most people are ignoring in their bicep training. So these are gonna be outside the box form tweaks that I learned from training with Charles Glass, the godfather of bodybuilding. And there's gonna be three action steps throughout this video. If you follow all three, I guarantee you, you're gonna blow up those biceps, regardless of your genetics. Now, the first mistake is not enough peak contraction in your bicep workouts. Now, this one right here is a game changer because when you feel it, you are never going to go back to training your biceps any other way. Now, there's two exercises in particular that I learned from Charles Glass that really help you dial in that peak contraction. Now, the first one is the drag curl. The drag curl at the top of the concentric part of the rep is the definition of peak contraction. So. Try this form. On the drag curl, you have to understand that it's not a regular bicep curl. Now, all you're doing on a drag curl is your elbows are going back, your palms are coming up, and so you're driving your elbows back as your palms come up. So you're not bringing your elbows forward like on a traditional curl. Literally, the entire move is just your elbows going back as your palms go up, and you're trying to keep those shoulders down. So it's a partial range of motion. You're not doing the full range of motion. Now, you wanna go nice and heavy on this. So you're gonna realize the peak contraction stops when that barbell is right around the middle of your abdominals. So I like to go really heavy on this in the eight to 10 rep range and really focus on getting a nice hard squeeze at the top, keeping those palms up. So it's very important that as you come up and your elbows go back, you keep your palms up to really feel that peak contraction. So the second exercise to get a better peak contraction is the swoop curl. Now, when you drive your elbows up on this move, that is when you're gonna feel the maximum peak contraction. So notice on the swoop curl, it's not a normal barbell bicep curl. I'm actually rising my elbows. I'm trying to kind of keep my palms up and back as I bring that bar to my forehead and I'm squeezing for a half second at my forehead, coming back down slow and controlled. Now, yes, when you first watch this move and you see the elbows coming up, you're gonna think it's going to hit all anterior deltoids. Now it does hit your anterior deltoids, but what it does is it forces your bicep peak to really contract at the top of every single rep. So just trust me on this. Try this, a nice heavy weight that you can do for eight to 10 reps. Keep those palms up as you curl the bar to your forehead and you will feel a crazy bicep contraction. So action step for you guys is five sets per week at the minimum of an exercise that you get an incredible peak contraction on. So I recommend you do either five sets of swoop curls or five sets of drag curls at the minimum every single week. The second very common mistake is no stretch of the bicep at any point in your workout. Now, when you're training your biceps, you have to understand there are two really important parts. There's the squeeze, AKA the peak contraction we just talked about. And there's also the stretch where you're actually getting a full stretch of the bicep mid rep. So for today's community giveaway, I'm gonna select two people to win a sample tub of delicious PB and gains and cocoa buffs and superhuman protein. So to enter, all you gotta do is comment down below the very last place that you travel to. And for five bonus entries, simply ask me any diet, training, or nutrition question. I'll never forget the first bicep workout I had with Charles Glass. We did a couple moves where he really forced my bicep in really awkward and uncomfortable positions where it was really painful because I was focusing on squeezing the bicep throughout the set. So I was getting really fatigued, but I was also fully stretching the bicep. So one way to lock this in is the dumbbell incline curl. So this move has been around for decades and it's incredible bicep mass builder. Now you'll see Arnold Schwarzenegger doing this move back in the day. And the key with this exercise is to really get a full stretch of the bicep at the bottom. So you wanna really drive those shoulder blades and retract your scapula into the incline bench. So right around like a 45 degree incline bench. And then at the bottom of every single rep, you wanna make sure you have a full stretch of the bicep. At the top of every single rep, you wanna make sure you're squeezing that bicep. So the dumbbell incline curl is incredible and it's the perfect exercise to really get a squeeze at the top and a stretch at the bottom. So I recommend you go nice and heavy in the eight to 10 rep range. So action step to fix the second mistake, I recommend you do five total sets of the dumbbell incline curl every single week at the bare minimum. If you have legging biceps, I recommend you go all the way up to 
10 to 15 sets to this because when you get that nice full stretch, you're actually creating more healthy micro tears and more muscle damage, which is going to initiate some crazy growth for you guys. So the third big bicep training mistake is simply not going heavy enough. Now, when most guys train their arms, they get in the habit of wanting to do a ton of pump training. Now, pump training is great because you can trigger metabolic stress, but the bicep muscle has a ton of fast twitch muscle fibers. So it is in your best interest to at least throw in a few exercises every single week where you're going really heavy with good form and failing in say the six to 10 repetition range. So a few of my favorite ones would be number one, the dumbbell alt curl, really focusing on twisting my pinky at the top and controlling that weight at the bottom. So I'll go all the way up to 50s, 60s on this and I'll fail in the six to eight repetition range. Another great one is just hammer curls. So going really heavy hammer curls is obviously gonna work the brachialis and more of the short head where the twist is obviously gonna hit more of the bicep peak. So not only going heavy, but going heavy from a variety of angles is going to be the ultimate mass builder. Another move that I went heavy in a lot of my workouts with Charles Glass is the spider curl. So the barbell spider curl really forces your elbow in front, where if you notice like the drag curl, your elbow is behind your body, where a spider curl, your elbow is in front of your body. So it's going to favor the short head of the bicep. So I recommend you go heavy in a few different exercises where your elbows are at different placements. So last action step is I recommend you do 10 total sets every single week of direct bicep work. We are failing in the six to 10 rep range. I recommend you split it five and five where you do say five on a movement where your elbows are behind your body, like an incline curl or a drag curl and five where your elbows are in front of your body, like a cheat curl or a spider curl. So the biggest punch on this video is just pay very close attention to your form and stay consistent. And remember that if you have legging biceps and you're trying to grow them as fast as possible, the number one thing that is going to blow up your gains is increasing your training volume. So if you follow the action steps in this video, you're looking at around 20 sets per week of direct bicep work. Now they've done studies and they've shown that basically all the way up to 45 sets per week, the more training volume that you have, the more growth you're gonna have up to a point. Now, if you're a beginner, I don't recommend you go past say 15 to 20 sets of direct bicep work a week. But if you've been in the gym for five, 10, even 15 years, sometimes the only way to really break out of a plateau is to add different intensity techniques, pay better attention to your form and increase your training volume. So if you guys wanna stay right here on YouTube and keep on making gains, I highly recommend you watch five lifting mistakes, killing your gains with the Godfather of Bodybuilding, Charles Glass. Incredible video, so if you missed it, I'm gonna throw it down in the description. Also the end cards. And if you want me to cover any other muscle group, specific training mistakes that I learned from Charles Glass, let me know what muscle groups you want me to cover. And if you missed any of the last videos, I'm gonna link them over here, and I will see you guys on the next video. You ain't got no gains. You ain't lift no weights.